Lead the Netherwood Station and its surrounding area. Netherwood train station has assets that can support a transit oriented development. These include schools, a nearby reviving downtown, a recreational space, neighboring suburbs such as Fanwood and Netherwood Heights, and good access from Route 22. We looked at possible development within and around the quarter and a half mile circles, which led us to our selection of two main study areas. In this presentation, we will discuss proposals generated during the design charrette, new alternatives, and form-based codes used within our two study areas. At the design charrette, Netherwood citizens voiced their opinions about changes in land use and street frontage in order to satisfy current and future residents. Discussions focused on two sites. The first was Netherwood Station and its neighboring lots. The second was the Plainwood Square Shopping District, which we refer to as Netherwood South Avenue. Many citizens were interested in new green space and bike path development, which would connect three existing anchors. They are Seidler Field, the Netherwood Station Plaza, and Plainwood Square Park. The use of the station's existing tunnel helps this green space connection, which we refer to as the Greenway. Additionally, they proposed walking paths starting on Belvedere Avenue traveling up to Netherwood Heights and also creating wider sidewalks on North and South Avenues which are large enough for exterior restaurant seating and pedestrians. Due to the amount of underutilized lots and buildings, new neighborhood development can potentially revitalize the area and generate thriving businesses. Development such as ground floor retail in the Netherwood Station area and the establishment of a restaurant row located on Netherwood South Avenue will help to create a brand for Netherwood. Citizens strongly oppose the development of tall buildings because of a fear that they will increase density because their physical properties, quote unquote, do not fit the current character of the neighborhood. Residents near the station area favor three-story buildings, which, while those near South Avenue favored a variety of three and potentially four-story buildings. With these proposals, the Netherwood station area and the Netherwood South Avenue will transform into a viable TOD community. Citizens were also eager to have a jitney route implemented. The potential routes are on the north and south side of the rail line. The first area of opportunity is the Netherwood train station currently zoned as light industrial and neighborhood commercial. The light industrial spaces that surround Netherwood Station include the Ono Industries Incorporated building, which is vac currently vacant, and the plumbing and janitorial supplies warehouse. Neighborhood commercial development comprises of two single-level retail buildings along South Avenue. During the charrette, citizens suggested the extension of green space directly across Seidler Field along with ground floor retail and two floors of residential above. The new green space inherently affects the quantity of parking spaces. Therefore, they are relocated to the rear of the new building development. The Greenway Connector is a design strategy that links spaces throughout the area, potentially transforming the station into a more inviting space for various community activities. From the charrette proposal, an alternate design includes a reduced footprint of the green space area and the adaptive reuse of the Ono Industries building with the addition of a floor above. This building will serve as a community health facility for the neighborhood and its surrounding region. The facility is a great asset to the neighborhood and will bring in potential economic and community development. Another alternative shows a reduced footprint of the Ono Industries building built as a three-story mixed-use structure. On the opposite side of the, of the green space lies an L-shaped building that is mirrored on both sides of the rail line. This configuration promotes retail storefront and two floors of residential directly facing the station area. Extending the green, the green plaza towards the historic firehouse shows the starting points of the Greenway extension on and beyond South Avenue. The Greenway creates a more inviting entry plaza for the Netherwood station area. Proposals for the Netherwood station area encourages vast areas of green space development as well as potential building configurations that will increase density of the TOD core. The second area of opportunity is Netherwood South Avenue, which is located on the south side of the tracks and east of the station, currently zoned as neighborhood commercial development. However, the specific area of South Avenue that we focus on 
is Plainwood Square Park, which includes the future Sea Town, an existing five-story residential tower and single-level shed, private residences, and a small private business. During the charrette, citizens stressed how Plainwood Square Park should serve as an anchor of the neighborhood. They recommend mirroring the center island to create a new teardrop-shaped public area. They also recommend locating a U-shaped building with ground floor retail under two floors of residential south of South Avenue. This U-shaped configuration will create additional green space. Although discussions with the city proved that this extension is too expensive and not conducive to roadway configurations, the island and the space within the U serves as a large continuous community plaza that extends the greenway connection. From the charrette proposal, an alternate design shows three bar-shaped buildings with retail adjacent to the street and residential in the rear, and above radiating from South Avenue. They create courtyards in between. North of South Avenue is an L-shaped mixed-use building that shares parking with the future Seatown supermarket. The narrow spaces between the buildings create an intimate area to congregate. Another alternative shows continuous buildings with retail at grade adjacent to the sidewalk and residential above on both sides of South Avenue with zero front yard setbacks following the contour of the sidewalk. Parking and additional green space is located at the rear of the buildings. The curved structures produce a cont continuous storefront that embraces the island and creates a friendly plaza environment. Proposals for Netherwood South Avenue highlight the island as an anchor for Netherwood that welcomes visitors from east of South Avenue. The area is filled with green space to gather on and a variety of potential development. The design is derived from the charrette focused on a large-scale vision. To realize that vision, we focused on components and will present them, present sample form-based codes to achieve this vision. According to the Plainfield Zoning, Light industrial lots have a minimum width of 100 feet and minimum depth of 150 feet. In reality, these lots are up to 200 feet deep. They are sandwiched between the street and rail embankment. Due to their depth, citizens recommend locating parking in the rear. This depth also allows for a variety of lot configurations. The buildable area is broken down into the building footprint and permeable surface. With setback requirements, permeable surface can be located in front of the building for outdoor dining. We believe that with the community's input, a shared parcel strategy has merit. Shared parcels allow for flexibility in building height and preserving the streetscape, as well as locating parking in the rear. Larger floor area ratios or a height restriction waiver for part of a project can be a way to incentivize discreetly located driveways. Varying heights can better assure that a project is aesthetic, aesthetically interesting. A site section clearly shows a continuous storefront with parking in the rear. We look back at Plainfield's current zoning map where the Netherwood station area is zoned as industrial and neighborhood commercial. It is evident that these designations are not consistent with the charrette and alternative proposals. Netherwood Station, rezoned as mixed-use development with open space adjacent to the station, will facilitate a more active and pleasing TOD. Similarly, Netherwood South Avenue, rezoned as mixed-use development with higher density residential near Terrell Road, will complement the station. Netherwood has great potential in becoming a vibrant and diverse transit-oriented development. With the right master plan, effective vision, and community support, this vision can become a reality.